All right, YouTube, welcome back to another video of Piggy Garage. Here I am today to bring you the, you know, prolonged review of the car bubble on um, the, like, my thoughts on the bubble for the whole winter of uh, the car, uh, the GT350R being in the bubble, the protective bubble. Um, for those of you that don't know what the bubble is or why I bought the bubble, I pretty much bought it uh, to review for you guys. Um, some people don't have um, garages or insulated garages. And this bubble um, can uh, come to great service to you guys for if you keep your car outside, car bubble or car capsule has a lot of different options for outdoor car capsules and so forth. But I just want to give you guys an in-depth review on the results of the bubble after um, a winter storage of the GT350R. What the bubble does is it's supposed to do moisture protection, keep it away from uh, rats, so forth, air circulation at all times. There's a fan at the end of the bubble which uh, you know protects it from dust and debris and really protects that that car um, it also handles up to X amount of pounds as you guys can go back into my older videos and see I throw a 30 pound sludge hammer at the car I'll put it in the um, cards above or something but it really is great for protecting your car giving your baby that extra layer of protection so you can sleep uh, sleep tight at night knowing that you're uh, dream car is uh, safe um, away from elements, rodents, um, you know, if a garage fell or the lights up there fell, you know that your car would be safe. Now, Car Capsule does have some different car capsule options such as uh, the Show Capsule, which is a lot better, handles a lot more uh, weight. But um, I'm going to go ahead and take this down and give you my review. One thing that I do have to tell you guys and let you know is I read on a review or a blog form that these um, car capsules do uh, carry moisture or moisture does get in them. And I do have to say that I can concur with that finding. Um, I, what I did was I went ahead and bought a these damp raids uh, for that extra layer of security um, protection. And what they do is they go ahead and collect dampness. So what I did was I placed one outside the car capsule, which is in the garage, and one inside the car capsule. This right here is the one that was in uh, the garage. And as you can see, there's no water um, from inside the garage, but I did grab one, you know, I put these, a couple of these inside the um, car capsule just to protect my thing. But I don't know if you guys can hear that. This thing is filled with water. So, you know, car capsule, if you're watching this, you know, you can see that these bubbles do collect moisture. The garage um, is a climate con controlled garage. And you can see that outside the garage, this one has no moisture, no moisture at all. But the one, one of the ones that were inside the bubble, you can see that and hear that. That's filled with water. So if I didn't have these damp raids inside my car capsule, you know, I, it could have caused some damage. It could have, you know, caused some rust or whatnot. So I'm glad that I went ahead. And as you guys could see in one of my other videos, I'll put a card in it. Um, I went ahead and put these damp rates in the car capsule for those reasons. Um, so, Phil, if you're watching that, just keep note of that. Um, I, you know, that's just something that, you know, if someone's putting their classic car in the car capsule for many, many years without the damp raid. Um, as that extra layer of protection, then you could have some uh, moisture problems with the car. Um, but yeah, guys, other than that, this car capsule did great. Uh, I'm just really happy that I went ahead and put damp raids in the car capsule and was checking it uh, weekly. Um, the other ones I kind of changed out. Uh, they didn't really collect any uh, dampness, but that one, you know, was left in for the full period. Um, I just wanted to show how much moisture it would have uh, caught. Um, I'm just really glad that I kept a damp raid inside the car capsule because that's just unwanted moisture that I wanted in there. And as you can see, the garage didn't have any moisture, but the car capsule did collect moisture. Um, but yeah, guys, great, great bubble. I'm really glad that I went ahead and bought one. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I bought this for you as this is a, uh, uh, garage, 
um, detached garage and not I, I don't really this was kind of overkill but uh I got it for you guys and uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of the bubble do the oil change for spring I also got a couple parts like the air filter and the AOS air oil separator that I'm gonna be doing um, some how-to install videos for you guys I'm gonna go ahead and get it out to you guys here uh, shortly after I film it so guys I hope you like this video if you have any questions comments or concerns about the car bubble please go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll be sure to get back to your comments. And uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like my stuff. As always, guys, it's always a pleasure it's talking to you, the camera, um, and sharing my passion with cars. So stay tuned for more stuff at Piggy Garage. Thanks, guys.